Well, covering New London County, the review process is underway for a proposal to build up a new state park in Waterford, a project that's expected to come with a big price tag. News 8's Josh Scheinblum joins us live now to explain the plans and tell us what residents are saying about all of this. Josh. Good evening, Brian. The master plan for Seaside calls for beach areas, a boat launch, and even a hotel. They're big changes that will likely cost millions. It's like a beautiful view and it's a great place to walk the dog. A sign in Waterford has people excited. It'd be nice to have it developed into something other than a falling apart building. It reads Seaside, a Connecticut State Park, but look beyond it and you'll surely notice the area doesn't look much like the state's other waterfront properties. And right now there's a review process underway that could change all that. I think it'll be great for the community, you know, investing some money locally. And I don't think Connecticut has enough uh, state parks and state activities for its citizens. You know, you go next door to Rhode Island and there's Mesquamica. I think we should really focus on bringing things back to Connecticut. Catherine Tesaurus of Waterford is hopeful good things are to come. She thinks this area has a lot of potential. Well, taking advantage of the beach would definitely be nice. Having some facilities for people to use while they're there. Um, gazebos and things for families would definitely mean a lot to the communities. The entire site sits on about 32 acres and developers hope the project will improve access to Long Island Sound. The way the site currently exists isn't exactly easily accessible. Vehicles aren't allowed to access the waterfront, so to get down there, you have to walk a good distance from where you can park. There are also several buildings on the property. They used to serve the seaside sanatorium and right now sit vacant and boarded up. It's getting kind of decrepit. Developers hope to include a hotel in the improvements. The total cost of that project, according to a recent study prepared for the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, is nearly 22 million. What do you think this is a good investment for the state? Well, Connecticut's got some high taxes. I don't get much for my taxes, so at least I can come down here and sit by a nice beach and relax with family. I think the longer they wait, the higher the cost to actually fix it will get. So I think if they're going to invest in it now is as good a time as any. The Hartford Current reports the state will invest $10 million into fixing up the area. For now, we're live in studio, Josh Schenblum, News 8.